In the world of sports, there is only one opponent who is truly undefeated. That's Father Time. There always comes a time where even the very best in the game must concede and admit defeat. Earlier in the season, it looked like Father Time had ruthlessly caught up to Alex Ovechkin at 38 years old, and people weren't shy to say it. The greatest goal scorer we've ever seen only had 8 goals in his first 43 games, and he looked like a shell of himself. But fast forward to the current day, and a 38-year-old Alex Ovechkin is leading the charge for a Capitals team that are a complete anomaly. None of it seems like it makes sense, but when you take a deeper look to how Ovi and the Caps have adjusted their game, you'll understand that Father Time may have to wait a bit longer. In the NHL right now, there is no team more mystifying than the Washington Capitals. This team is 29th in goal differential at 5-on-5, five 24th five, in goal differential on special teams, and 30th in goal differential in 3-on-3 three three overtime, yet they still find themselves in a playoff spot in the East. In one goal games, the Caps are 16-2-9. The main reason why they're in this spot is because they are simply finding ways to win or get points in extremely tight games. Is it luck? Probably, but the Caps and Ovechkin have still found a way to be in the mix despite age, an average roster, and their captain pounding Subway and Cheetos as his pre-game meal. Through the first 43 games of the season, Ovechkin had just 8 goals. Now he has 18 in his last 24 overall. If he scored at that pace all season, he'd be on pace for 61 goals on the year. So what exactly has changed? Well, earlier in the season, it was a mix of everything. New coach, new systems, players, and an unsustainably low shooting percentage for Ovi's standards. Based on how often Ovi shoots the puck, the goals were bound to come, but he and the Caps have made tweaks to help Ovi get back to form. Like the majority of elite goal scorers, Ovechkin has historically done most of his damage off the rush at 5-on-5 five five and in zone on the power play. As he's aged, his offense off the rush has dwindled, but his lethal shot on the power play has hid some of the regression. That was until Washington's power play fell completely off a cliff at the start of the year. The power play was ranked dead last to start the season and were operating at 7%. New head coach Spencer Carberry attributed this to old habits and familiarity. For years, everyone and their grandma knew that Ovi was going to get the puck in his office for a one-time blast. The Caps also lost Backstrom on the half wall, while Kuznetsov was just a shell of his former self. So the answer for the power play has been to create more movement. The Caps power play and Ovechkin can still punish teams with the famous one-timer, but more frequently than before, Washington has Ovechkin on the move. Sometimes they have him on the right side by the point to give them a similar look with different players, but Ovi will frequently move to the back post for a cross-crease pass. Killers who get caught sleeping by thinking Ovi will just stand in his office end up paying the price. These slight tweaks with a bit more puck luck has allowed the Caps to improve their once dead last power play to 16th in the league. Average, but still an improvement. More importantly, it's given the greatest goal scorer in NHL history some different looks. Now, getting older in the NHL means that Ovi's foot speed isn't what it once was. However, he and the Caps have adapted to his play style. In his prime, Ovi could burn a defender with his speed, outmuscle a guy to the net, or just beat a goalie with a shot through a screen. Ovi can't quite do those things like he used to, so when 5-on-5, five five, the other four players do the heavy lifting on the rush. When the Caps regroup, they look to create a small 2v1 entry while Ovi anchors himself at the far blue line. This is because when he typically gets the puck in this spot now, he just doesn't have the extra gear or elusiveness to power through and get a high danger shot on net. So to counteract that, the Caps typically have four skaters draft back on the regroup with Ovi on the cherry pick. This way, Washington can rely on the speed and vision of its younger players to find Ovi on the delayed entry. The Caps use this exact same entry on their power play, and they use it 5-on-5 five five when Ovi's on the ice to help him get more looks. However, the one area of Ovi's game that hasn't gone away at all is his offensive anticipation. Timing is everything in hockey, and although the legs don't work like they used to, Ovi's timing and anticipation allows him to still be a dangerous threat. Here, despite not being the same player he once was to carry the mail on the rush, his timing keeps him in the play and then the elements that make Ovi special can take over from there once he has the puck. Even when there's a quick turnover in the neutral zone and the O zone, it's his ability to find the space in between checks that put him in a position to use his deadly shot. 
It may seem underwhelming based on what we've come to expect from Ovi over the years, but to put it into perspective of how difficult it is to score goals at 38, Wayne Gretzky himself only scored 9 goals at the same age. As Austin Matthews becomes the only active two-time 60 goal scorer in the NHL, Ovechkin provides the template for how one needs to score goals when the physical elements start to dwindle. At the start of the year, age was playing a part in Ovechkin's drop in production, but he was still generating a large quantity of quality shots. The only issue was that the pucks just weren't falling in. In the second half of the season, it's been a completely different story. Despite the recent uptick in goal scoring and leading the team in that category, Ovechkin is no longer the player that can single-handedly take over a game with his skill level. For that reason, the Washington Capitals have to find success by committee. Like I said earlier, the Caps are a complete anomaly. They found a way to win tight games by being opportunistic and making the right plays at the right time. Whether that's a huge shot block with the net empty or a patient read to cause a turnover and score a big goal, the Caps are currently defying the odds. In the stretch run for the race for the playoffs, the Capitals find themselves right in the mix despite having a minus 31 goal differential. Not a lot of what this team is doing is making a whole lot of sense, but if the greatest goal scorer in NHL history maintains his form, it could mean we get to see the grade eight in the playoffs one last time.